Hi, it's Brent Bishop with Think Fitness Studios and today we're talking about the perfect push-up. So most of us have seen these before. I have two versions here. We're going to talk about version two mainly, but I have the, the first version here, the main difference between the two. Uh, first one is a little bit clunkier. They put a better design into the second version, definitely. The grip is better, it's a little sleeker looking, and much more ball bearings. They've added ball bearings to the spin system so it doesn't stick as much. So I definitely prefer the second version. Now the main benefits here, they claim you're going to get big arms and a ripped chest. I put this to the test and uh, it works pretty good. It definitely challenges you more than a regular push-up. So the key benefit and the key reason why it's more effective, number one, this raises your hand about four inches off the ground, which is going to allow for a further range of motion at the bottom of that push-up position. When you get a further range of motion, you're challenging those muscles uh, more and you're going to engage more muscle fibers. So you won't get as many push-ups done with these as you would on a flat ground. The second thing is there is a spin system. So for those that have wrists that are uncomfortable in a push-up position, this can actually be a lot more comfortable because you're in a straighter position with your wrist and now you can move your hand to where it naturally feels comfortable. Not only that, depending on the position of your wrist, you can recruit more muscle fibers and challenge yourself a little more. So for example, when you get into a push-up position, starting in a hammer position, coming down, when you come out of that and rotate outwards with your hands, you're getting much more of the chest and triceps. If you do the opposite of that, you're going to engage the chest and triceps, of course, but a little bit more of the shoulders as well. Now I'll make one key point here. Another reason why this is an effective piece of equipment because it does challenge your shoulder stabilizers more. And when you challenge your sh shoulder stabilizers more, you're going to prevent injury, you're going to get yourself stronger faster. Now the flip side of that, the constructive, there's always a constructive, you got to worry about if you have a pre-existing shoulder injury, this could put you more susceptible to damaging your shoulders. So you got to be careful with that rotation because it is an unstable surface. Another good benefit between the version 1 and version 2, with the version 2 they've actually added an anti-slip surface that's much more effective. So you can do things like side planks, other exercises where there is a tendency for slipping that you definitely won't slip with this version. So it's pretty good for that. So those are my main tips about the Perfect Push-Up version 2. Uh, I give it a thumbs up. I think it's a good piece of equipment. It's a great travel tool that you can take with you. And uh, if you want to save some money, you could go a set of dumbbells if you're not worried about the rotation.